Hey everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. Today I'm reviewing a range by Melty Mama. Um, these are handmade wax melts that I saw quite a lot of on Facebook. Um, you'll see in a video a couple of weeks ago that I did purchase the Melty Mama sample box for £5. Um, I'll insert a picture of everything I received now. Um, so I received the sample box and I did say that I was going to do a review of all of the samples that came in that. Um, and you can see if you watch the video, which I'll also link down below, all of the samples I got. So there was an absolutely massive variety. There was a lot more than I was expecting. And for £5, I was really happy. Um, but now for my reviewing purposes, obviously, I was buying them to review rather than to find out what my favourite scent was. So on that occasion, I don't feel like the samples were big enough for me to fairly review. So this is why I went back online and I thought, no, I'm not going to review them on the samples. The samples are a great way to have a sniff of all the different scents and pick what ones you want in the bigger pots. Um, but for reviewing purposes, I just didn't think um, there was enough wax for me to review the scents fairly. So I went back on there and I purchased some of these little tubs. So you can see we've got fresh mint and rhubarb, banana nut muffin, sticky toffee pudding and cherry marshmallow and you can see that I've used half of each tub and um, if I just hold on my hand you can sort of see how big they are as well. So I'll start off with cherry marshmallow. Cherry marshmallow is on the Melty Mama website which I will link down below and you can get it in the pot like you can see here or they do it in a snap bar version as well and they range from between like two to three pounds just over depending on what you buy um, and it says a sweet blend of cherry and red berries resting on a base of sugar and sweet vanilla so for me I didn't so much get the cherry through on this and I wouldn't get it if you was a big cherry fan but if you're a fan of like the sort of sweet marshmallow vanilla cotton candy smells then this is definitely a good one to get it was really sweet um that vanilla and that sort of sugary smell really did come through for me and bearing in mind I've only used half of the tub I mean I've been burning them in like a, a standard double bedroom sort of size in the UK um, and yeah it was really nice it's just like I say I wouldn't get it if you was a cherry fan but slight undertone of the berries but very sugary sweet um, vanilla -y smell coming through so if you're that sort of fan I would definitely go for that um, I'll go with sticky toffee pudding next. Sticky toffee pudding was actually my favourite one. Um, again, let me just have a look at the options. This is only available in a pot at the moment, but I really I wasn't too sure what to expect because I don't think I've ever had a sticky toffee sort of smelling candle. So it says a classic dessert, caramel vanilla, and a sweet twist of maple syrup, all blended into one amazing fragrance. I think if I used the whole pot of this, it would have been too overpowering, but half was just nice. Um, the bedroom just smelt like maple syrup, sort of caramel. Um, the vanilla was a bit more undertoned, but the, the maple syrup and that sort of caramel smell came through really, really strong. Um, if you're not a fan of sweet dessert sort of bakery smells, sticky toffee pudding isn't for you, but it's one of those that's my absolute favourite. Um, out of the whole lot, that's, that has been my absolute favourite one to burn because sort of dessert smells are my absolute favourite anyway. Um, I'll go for fresh mint and rhubarb next, just because that was quite different for me, probably. I love my mint smells, but rhubarb, mm, never normally so keen. So this one is on the website again as let's have a look. So only pots again. You can't get this one at the moment in snap bars, but they are always updating their website and changing about their scents. So there is quite a lot of option and it changes regularly if you do look on there. And um, so this says the invigorating blend opening with sweet rhubarb, juicy apples, freshly squeezed oranges and a hint of fresh mint resting on a musk base. Um, For me, that is pretty much spot on. The mint was very very much an undertone um i would have liked the mint to be more in my face but that's just because i personally like the smell of mint um i would say the rhubarb um, and the apple came through the most for me not so much an orange scent but the rhubarb and the apple with a very underlying tone of mint so it was really nice it was very different and refreshing um i did really like it and i find it very good for a summery scent might need to use a little bit more than half a pot but obviously it's the same as candles 
they're always different you're never going to get to the same strength so i'd say sticky toffee pudding half is fine um fresh mint and rhubarb and cherry marshmallow are going to completely depend on what size room you're in so you might use half you might need a little more um and then banana nut muffin let me just get the information up so this is available at the moment of filming in a pot and a snap bar and the description for this is Ripe banana, brown sugar with churned butter, sugar cane, ground cinnamon, clove bud, chopped walnuts and vanilla. So again for me, I don't know if you've watched my other videos, I love the smell of banana and I always try and get different banana scented candles. So I would have preferred it to be more banana-y but if you just like a very small hint of banana and more of that bakery smell coming through then you'd really enjoy this. Not quite as strong as the sticky toffee pudding. But I still found it just enough just to use half. So I'm thinking the bakery scents are on the stronger side at the moment. I would say there was the hint of cinnamon, but not too strong. So if you like cinnamon, but not in your face, then this is a really good one to get. Um, so underlying tones of banana and cinnamon. And then I'd say sort of the vanilla and the brown sugar are what come through the most for me. Again, really enjoyable might might need a bit more than half a pot if you're in a really big room but i found it absolutely fine to use half a pot of that one and the sticky toffee pudding in my bedroom um and like i say fresh mint and cherry marshmallow might have just needed a little bit more to really come through but i'm really happy that i did get the pots as well i just don't think it would have been fair to review them on the little sample packs but like i said in my last video i did really enjoy opening the sample pack it's a great way to smell all the scents um, and find out which ones you want to buy before committing because buying a five pound box to get such a big range of scents to find out which ones you want before spending the money on the big pots and like I said they're not even that much money um, they are cheap for what you get so obviously I'm going to get like if I use half a pot each time I'm easily getting like three or four days out of one little pot and for them ranging between like two to three pounds it's not a lot at all um, yeah, so my favourite on this occasion was sticky toffee pudding. I'd probably say my second favourite was the fresh mint and rhubarb just because it was very different from anything I'd normally go with and I liked how refreshing it was. Um, banana nut muffin would be in third place and cherry marshmallow would come last but not because it was weak, just because it was too sweet for me, um, a bit sickly smelling but again if you like that then you'll love this candle. Um, throw rating... I'm going to say sticky toffee pudding is definitely like an 8 out of 10. Fresh mint and rhubarb, 7 out of 10. Um, banana nut muffin, let's go for a 6. And cherry marshmallow, probably a 5 or a 6. Again, if I used a little bit more wax, it might have gone up a little bit. But yeah, I just found fresh mint and rhubarb really refreshing. Sticky toffee pudding is way, well, well sickly. So if you're not a fan of that, it wouldn't be for you. But I absolutely loved it. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I will link Melty Mama down below. Um, I'm really happy I did try a new brand um, and I'll definitely be looking to try some more of their scents in the future. They're always chopping and changing them about. So even if you look on there and there's nothing for you now, they they do change them and they're very active on their Facebook page if you have any questions. Um, and there's lots of people suggesting scents on there and they do listen to you. So have a look on there as well if you get a chance. But yeah, I hope they watch this and just know that I'm very happy with my pots. And thank you for watching. I'll get some new reviews out for you soon.